Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. We can start with your introduction. Yeah, sure. So currently I am working as a, a backend developer in my current organization. So I have around plus years of experience in uh, Java and its related technology like Spring Boot, microservices, uh, apart from that. In my uh, earlier organization, I got charged to work with uh, front end as well. So there I got charged to work with uh, Angular, Angular JS and Angular. And for our database, uh, major most of the time we have used uh, MySQL database, and recently I have also used the Oracle DB. Okay, and how much you did yourself in Core Java? Uh, so around uh, seven uh, out of ten. Okay. Do you have experience in multi-threading? No, not uh, that. Um, see, uh, I couldn't use in my projects, but I know basic concepts of uh, multi-threading. You know basic concepts of executor and threadful? Yes. Okay. Okay. So what is the like basic use of threadful instead of creating threads on demand? Sorry, I. Could not get the question. Could you? So I want to know, like, why we, why we do, why do we use thread pool instead of creating threads on demand? Okay, okay, got. It. So yeah, so creating a thread, it's a like overhead on our OS as well because it's a run as a, it will create some separate process for us. While we are creating, it will be bulky, I think. Uh, and apart from that, we have readily available threads. So what we can do, we can use that thread and that inside the thread pool after completion of that particular work we can assign that particular thread to some other task so in such any, case any any other point either point so i think the performance wise i can say thread pool will give us a better performance apart from resource resource utilization also it will uh, useful so, for us so when you when you when you're saying that it gives better performance but but make it make it uh, like to do a to give the better performance so in terms of uh, like uh, thread pool or in terms of uh, thread only you are asking like so thread pool yeah, yeah so in thread pool okay let's suppose we have created 10 threads and those thread initially we can create so it will take uh, that much uh, resources and once uh, we start the thread execution then it will acquire one of the thread from thread pool and once it is completed then it will release that thread so that is the concept like if we are creating our own thread then uh, we we have to take care of everything like create. okay okay all right so let's suppose i'm giving you giving you an array of integers and i want you to remove the duplicate from it and and i don't want to change the order of the elements so okay. what will be your approach to do that okay uh, so if you want to remove the duplicate then we can use the has head but uh, you won't be orders be shown then in, in that case we can use the has uh, linked has set okay so and but do you think like how internally ha in linked has set maintain the the order okay you want to understand the order I think uh, it should use some linked uh, list data structure. So it will uh, use that linked list uh, to insert a value. Okay, Link has uh, so it's using the linked list. So if it's using the linked list, so what will be the complexity of a uh, like get operation? Okay, so get operation uh, in link in case of linked list is order of n, mm -hmm. uh, while adding and removing it is order of one one. Okay, so linked has set you uh, you must be aware of like set internally using map use map yes it is uses map right. so if i would say like instead of linked hash set i want to know like how what is really the complexity of cat operation in linked hash map then what will be your answer if it is using the has map then getting operation will take the order of one there is no okay plus. okay okay and if you want to remove element from linked hash map removing okay in that case adding and deleting let's suppose we are adding and we want to remove some element from hash map i think we can provide the element and it will remove that uh, so order of one i think uh, remove an element from ha linked hash map right linked hash map so it first it will find that element and uh, then order of uh, n i think then that is because it's if it is using the link so it will go to that particular index and uh, then it will remove that element and, and in the and insertion as well it will take order of n insertion actually two things yeah in the case of linked list what happens it will add removing and adding the element will take only order of one link list yes because link okay. has set uh, sure? because i believe doubly link list support that doubly link list okay so, then it's fine okay can you can you open a, your like share your screen and open any java editor if you want to open online java editor that, that is fine as well okay i have yeah, I have an editor one. I will share my screen. Uh, are you able to share my screen? No, I can sit now. Okay, I want to create a glass employee. Okay. 
okay and in this class we have uh, three fields okay. id name and salary okay okay and create a main method in this class and let's suppose you have a list of employees okay in this main method okay i want you to return uh, those employees whose salaries are greater than 10 so how can you do that whose salary is greater than 10 okay. 10 yeah okay okay stream uh, can we use yeah, sure. Here I need to pass y eight or create getter set greater than ten to list. Okay, and if I want the name name of the employees. Okay, only name. Yes. Here I think map uh, can use. And I want this list um, to be sorted in descending order by a name or cell name. So this is this. Um, is returning a list of string right mm -hmm. list of name okay list of name in the same stream you know update okay. it okay or you want or you want to like do, i don't know okay here i need to write some code. okay so descending order i think sort method is there sorted and the sorted uh, comparator should be there even even to e2 so that uh, now uh, we can use collectors to collect them okay okay uh, let's add one more field here uh, another class reference um department in this class uh, where i need to uh, one more class uh, you can create a more class department okay. with empty fields okay so here you can just have id that's it okay and employee have reference of department class okay and we have get as well for this okay. department okay and i want to use this class employee in as a key in a map so what what extra things you will do in this employee class i did not get uh, so you I want, want to use, i want you to use employee class as a key in a map employee class as a key in map okay what extra you need okay uh, so uh, two things uh, we need to take care like uh, uh, we need to override has code and equals method so that uh, whatever that employee class we are adding those will be uh, suppose the id is one here uh, because uh, if we are adding employee directly it won't uh, it will return some other has code and it it will not compare that particular object so we need to override the has code and equals i think that's it but for department site uh, anything uh, serializable no can are you expecting some sorting type of thing company uh, so, so we say we say that string is the best example of the okay fine. okay okay immutable we need to create sorry okay so uh, okay if we are yeah got your end actually so uh, finally uh, final class we can declare this employee class as mm -hmm. final and all the fields should be uh, private final i think so that no one can change those fields we need to remove those setter methods from here uh, and we need to provide some uh, constructor so that it will initialize only one creating immutable class like final final and we need to initialize only setter uh, only getter we need to provide and okay for department also inside the getter method instead of uh, returning the object we can do one thing here for department uh, okay setter getter i need to create for department as well instead you can use clone only okay clone so here so are you expecting the clonable interface to be element clonable is a mark marker interface that will not have anything right so instead of uh, returning this direct object uh, you provide why do you need to implement the clone method clone already implemented in the object class yes but this method is not calling actually so if just I, type clone and uh, just type I, clone and, and 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 like you need to cast it department dot clone and cast it to department here because the written type of clone is method is not coming here oh that is that is protected that's why it's not coming okay okay, okay. Yeah, because that clone clone is the so you in so in the department class you can call super dot clone and now we need to type first okay leave that okay uh, on the chat window i have pasted uh, pasted a question so you can read through that and let me know if you need clarification and try to implement the solution of that you are given a positive integer number okay you may swap any two digits of number that have the same parity means that both or digits are both even digits return the largest possible value of number after any number of swaps so six and eight are even numbers so that's why we have uh, we can swap those yes yeah. eight here and six here okay this is only uh, integer and it's not a string uh, it is a number so largest digit I, I need to get from this and i need to check whether this number is even or on the expected output so ready to swap these numbers okay so largest number i need to check so this is the 
index and this is the value while number is greater than zero inside the map if i put then if i add every number in sorted order then i will get uh, okay from here i will get the max percent is of 10 then it will give us this 5 this will return us one value okay here that this is 5 now max becomes max is equal to number and number is equal to number divided by 10 here i need to write if this number is number can you explain like what you are trying to do actually uh, first uh, my approach is to get the max number from all this thing uh, max it means the, the question asking like on the maximum uh, value not the maximum digit of this number okay two things i need actually max even and max odd okay so max even and max odd i will uh, okay mm -hmm. yeah yeah tell me so that i will get some idea also. um if you need to like uh, replace or swap the elements I, either you have to use array or string both support swapping of elements right yeah got you but so can i use this as a string you mean to say yeah you, you can use string dot value of the it will give you a string representation of this value okay okay so actually i thought i need to get uh, from integer only everything so that's why i have written this logic to get every element only two element i can swap no you can swap a number of times okay number of times so i think two pointers we can use first from left this will come from here if this is greater than this then and also i need to check i at zero and j plus one and that too if the type is same but here it won't return integer value first iteration it will check 6 is less than 5 from 5 is less than 6 and then i need to compare all this this string i need to swap this 8 to here so in that case i need the indexes of this which are higher max 1 max 2 okay so those are zero two variables i will take and i will iterate it and will check whichever is higher and also i will can, can you i guess i will be i uh, can can you can you let me let me help you to understand what you are trying to do so here i have created four variables so max mm -hmm. even max odd and max even to max odd two. okay so here whatever the max even i will get here i will store in this and if i get some max odd then i will so you are I, I guess you are understanding like we can swap maximum number of two times is that what you are understanding yes no the, 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 in the in the question itself it is it has written like return the largest possible value of the number after any number of swaps but the swap condition is like they both digits should be either odd or even okay sliding window uh, the performance but like um i'm not i'm not i'm not saying you to to implement the best solution which gives the the, um, the best uh complexity okay just need just implement the solution don't think about the complex if you want to implement it in n square n cube that's fine okay for each number i have to compare and uh, substring this and then so for each value check it with the other value and if they are like of same parity then swap it okay so here what happens it will this x would be this value and now i need to compare with this value and then i need to swap it okay so in such case if uh, x is greater than num of caret j is greater than x and both are x modules of 2 is equal to 0 modules of 2 is equal to is equal to 0 first case it is x is number is greater than x and it is a type of even so in such case we will only swap or else here i need to add and and here we can add this condition should be match and now one more condition does not equal to zero so then we can swap this num dot care at caret i is equal to num of, num of caret i is stored x value and i need to replace this you cannot update string same object okay i will use one more string i will set you to use the string with the class this is less than then i want jth element jth element should be okay uh not that way you have to initialize the string builder for the original string and then you can replace update the character for that particular index okay so string builder supports um constructor having 
string value. Now we can update that character to the character. Place X with J. Does it work? Actually, I'm not sure. You can read the the, the description of this replace method. Just read the command. Oh, just over the eclipse. Eclipse also provide the the commands. Just over the over the replace. It will give you the description. Start, start and install. So note that you need to place. Or you can you give the start or end same and then the value. Okay, start and this is the actual string and start and start eighth position i j number so you can use that carrot yes yes as we dot that carrot it will be easy for you to replace the character for that particular index okay actually it is accepting this integer value uh, so, so instead of replace you can use set care add okay remove this display replace and write set care add index and character need to pass index should be j and character should be num dot carrot or i it is just replacing the character you have not relied logic for swapping after this execution of this line the j and i will have the same character value okay j and i should not have so basically you need to swap six with eight right so at the position at the index of six you will put eight and at the index of eight you will put six so this is uh, adding this error of i here and now at this index i need to replace okay one more line i need to write i think this we dot set care at this is i and this is j at i place i need to add carrot j actually it is working eight seven six double five okay i want left very hard but i want to ask one sql question okay do you have any question for me yes uh, i want to know about the projects and technologies which... uh, project is not decided yet okay and and the any technology wise we are working on java 11 and our class database as of now okay. but we are planning to move into the uh, cloud solution AWS or something. Okay. yeah yeah and project wise uh, basically this belongs to automotive domain so a domain i can tell you but project is uh, project the it's not finalized yet okay anything else nothing thank you so much okay thanks for your time bye